Right, so that doesn't look like a legal sign. Certainly not in the uh, highway code as I can remember. Power to seize and remove a motor, a motor vehicle if the vehicle is used in a manner that constitutes an offence on or off the road and likely to cause alarm, distress or annoyance to a member of the public. So I'm going to ride it without causing alarm, distress or annoyance. So far. Don't think I'm causing any distress to anybody. Although I'm sure there are miserable sods out there that would love to even ban this because they want all the countryside to themselves, whether they're using it or not. Coming down what's originally known as Colpit Lane in Lancashire. Over my right shoulder I've got Barn Oldswick. Just behind me to the right I've got Wheat Hill, which clearly you're not allowed up. I don't want to go up there anyway. Nice to walk up. So this would eventually end up at Gisborne or just it comes out on the A682 near Gisborne. I won't be going that far. And see if this gate's locked, we might not even be getting that far. A good chance it's going to be locked. Which of course won't bother me in the slightest because I'll just turn around and go back up the hill. Oh, it's looking alright. Yeah, I've been able to find neutral twice in a row. That's incredible. So that's Wheat Hill there. Von Oswick's over the gap. Uh, Penny Ghent. That's obviously where I've just been. Mm, is it locked? It's not locked. 
the walking police haven't managed to get this bit closed down to us unruly motorcyclists yet. I'm sure it wasn't for the ones to try in. Probably still are. There you go, three goes to get it in neutral. Well done BMW. Filming this on the little uh, DJI Osmo action camera. Out on the front of my helmet with the rock steady stabilization switched on. But I've not managed to press record. We've just picked up Lisa's Range Rover from the Land Rover place over at Nelson. One of the little managers there seemed to get a bit grumpy with me because I was trying to explain the knocking noise that it had on that he couldn't understand. He felt he was getting a bit tetchy with me. So we've ended up just coming away. He said he'll look into it, and I don't doubt for a second he won't bear any more mind to it. So we're now coming down, we can see into the Ribble Valley, you've got Ingleborough there, and again there, Wernside behind Ingleborough, you can't quite see that. Pendle Hill there. Stunning. So that's Pendle Hill. That's what's known locally as the big end of Pendle. That's Waddington Fell, Harlick Pike. Uh, Campbell End. And also we got that's it. That's what we got on a bit. I haven't altered my ABS traction or anything, I don't think it's a particularly challenging road. I could have switched it off just for the sake of switching it off, but we're not doing any heroics. Looks like this one might be open as well. Not open, but unlocked. Which is quite refreshing. to play in that. We had friends that lived in that house when I was a kid. Sue Nutter, the mum, Kath and Chris, the kids that we used to knock around with. And they live in Nelson now. I doubt they'll ever see any of my videos, so they won't. Uh... Yeah, the other name's been into the web. Could that be worth a photograph? It could be worth a photograph, but... Oh, I'm gonna have to take my glove off. Warm, I can hear my fans cutting in. Oh, 
21 degrees according to this thing. I don't know how accurate that is. But it's warm. It's beautiful. Got a nice little run down here, that's nice. Well, they've attempted to close this road because to motor vehicles because obviously it's so massively oversubscribed with pedestrians and ramblers that we were causing a massive nuisance. And I haven't seen one. So it's a little win to the selfish people. Again. And my bike's gone over. Beautiful. Oh, marvellous. I'm going to take some getting up in it. For all the people that say beamers are too heavy. Did that look too heavy? Not quite. even altered my mirror. Smells a bit petrol though. Let's let it settle down for a minute. Oh, it does smell petrol that. That didn't like that, did it? Get up the way a bit. Stay there. Right. So that was the top half of coal pit laying onto wheats. Very beautiful it is as well. Nine Bridal Way. That's a farm off up that way. Right, so we're on a bit of pavement, and I was going to turn right where that house is, go back down to Van Oldswick. But I might, just for the sake of this camera, do the other mile. Oh, I can't go past, maybe a mile. Well, normally I would have turned right down there, which I will be doing, I'll be coming back, but that's my way back home. If this video works out, if it sounds alright, because it feels a bit muffled in my helmet, I'm not using a mic. If it sounds alright and I don't sound like a right complete numpty, I'll put it on YouTube. For no other reason than not sort of self promoting or reasons of vanity just for the fact that I think that that sign at the top the reason it got into me it's been bugging me I walked that way around I walked like a circular route out of Barn Oldswick last week because I looked in the mirror and thought I'm disgustingly fat and I need to do something about it and I saw that sign and, and I know Lancashire's famous for not having green lanes open for motorised vehicles and I saw that sign and I thought that is absolute nonsense the sign is meant to look like an O entry sign so that I think it puts you off reading the small print. But then when you read the small print, it doesn't say anything about the legality of riding up and down here. It just says they'll take your bike off you, or your vehicle, if you cause 
alarm, distress or annoyance. Now I understand if you get five or six or a, or a largest group, anything sort of more than one or two lads on two stroke crosses, really aggressive tyres, riding them really aggressive, making a lot of noise, turning the ground up, that could cause a little bit of an alarm or distress to people. They, they can come up on people very quickly, obviously. Um, the, the last bit, the annoyance bit, is the bit that I think I, I would get full foul off because I don't believe I'm causing alarm or distress to anybody. Well, for one thing, I haven't seen anybody. So, surely it would be up to a court to say what... Well, not even up to a court. How do you, how do you assess what annoys somebody? There's lots of things annoy me. I don't go to police about it all the time. I've got drug dealers pissing in my garden. Police don't do anything about that. You ring them up, nothing happens. That annoys me. So I'm quite sure there are some busybodies that would say riding a motorcycle in the country annoys me. But that's subjective, surely. And shouldn't be a part of law. That annoys me. Alarm and distress, I understand and I sympathise with it. I mean, the worst thing that happened then was my bike fell over. Look, there's no damage to it and I wouldn't really care if there was. Within reason, it's designed. It's got scaffolding all around it. Protect it from exactly that, but... I'm waffling now, but we're back on paved road now. So that takes you back over the 682, over Howgill, and that takes you to 682 down at Gisborne. But I'm going to go back up this hill, because it's not the way I want to go. So yeah, just to go back to my first point, I just wanted to put this on there just to see what sort of reaction I get perhaps. You know, these bikes cost a lot of money. We don't want to razz them around and wreck them. Risk damaging them. I right, I don't have a car. This is my this is my only form of transport. Why would I want to risk damaging it? I can stand it falling over. And I, and I don't mind people seeing that it gets that it falls over every now and again not be on purpose but it falls over every now and again because I'm taking it doing what it was designed to do which I really enjoy I've just put 210 quid with the tyres on it that allow it to go off road and do this K K60 Scouts by Hyde now if anybody's interested if anybody can hear me through this helmet gives me a great deal of satisfaction being able to ride a bike up on these sort of lanes. I've driven up here with tractors, Land Rovers, with trailers on and nobody had bat an eyelid. Anything with two wheels, everybody's bloody leaving orbit about it. Quiet. I'm respectful. People that know me know I turn my engine off for horses, I'll stop and let horses go past. Just winds me up it does. Selfish people. There's millions and millions of miles of tracks, public ha public footpaths that rightly so aren't allowed vehicles on them. But that's not good enough for a lot of people, they want everything to themselves. And as I've just proved it just now, a cheeky little half hour ride down the green lane, I haven't seen one of them. All those people that will have campaigned to get those that sign put on at that end, we sat in their houses now. And I can be out here enjoying my very expensive motorbike.
So if anybody sees this and feel like they want to complain, crack on. Your comments will be treated with the contempt that they deserve. There we go. Rant over. <laughs>